Hi, I'm Saba, a software engineering manager at Google. And today, I'm going to help you understand fuzzing. Let's get started. Are you tired of writing endless unit tests and still landing in numerous edge case box, impacting the quality and security of your applications? Have you tried fuzzing? First, let's define fuzzing. Fuzzing is the process of testing your library using automatically generated inputs by using coverage feedback and other signals to guide the test generation. This process can detect security and vulnerability issues that are hard to trigger using conventional manual testing methods. Go supports fuzzing in its standard tool chain beginning with Go 118, making Go the first major language to support this functionality natively. So when should you use fuzzing? Fuzzing is most suitable for testing libraries that provide some sort of parsing functionality. For example, receiving a raw input buffer and interpreting it according to a particular format. Some of the examples of vulnerability detection are SQL injection, buffer overflow, denial of service, and cross-site scripting attacks. Why should you use fuzzing? Writing a first target, also known as first test, is different from writing a regular unit test. With regular unit test, you write one or more tests and set expectations on results. Unlike unit test, first test use an arbitrary generated sequence of bytes as a source of their input. The test is executed many times using different values of the input bytes. Let's take a look at what a first target looks like. A first test must be a named function starting with fuzz, which accepts only a testing f argument and has no written value. A first target must be a method call to testing f.fuzz, which accepts a testing t as a first parameter followed by the fuzzing arguments. There is no written value. There must be exactly one first target per first test. All seed corpus entries must have types which are identical to the fuzzing arguments in the same order. This is true for calls to fuzzing f.add and any corpus files in the test data first directory of the fuzz test. Currently, there are following types of restriction for fuzz arguments. Finally, some tips for you. Fuzz target should be fast and deterministic, so the fuzzing engine can work efficiently and new failures and code coverage can be easily reproduced. Since the first target is invoked in parallel across multiple workers and in non-deterministic order, the state of a first target should not persist past the end of each call, and the behavior of a first target should not depend on global state. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest updates and information on Go.